Yes, and welcome back on the Touchline Time for the Fan Zone. And as usual, Tira Soyaki and Wendy Agola joined me in this particular session. We'll be having half an hour or so of about international football, ladies and gentlemen. Lady and gentlemen, right? That's the proper one. Should I say so? Ladies, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen. Uh, anyway, Karibuni Sana. It's been beautiful. Wendy. Karibu sana. Thank you. Yeah, uh, great to see you. You've been having uh, an international week. A great yes. one? Mm -hmm. She had an injury last week. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's back. back. Yeah, yeah great like to I see you did. indeed. Yeah. Great to see you. Anyway, let's kick off with that. Uh, we'll be having a lot to talk about, of course, on this one. We we'll yes. talk about English Premier League mm -hmm. and also more about European football. That's how we usually do it. But let's talk about the um, first of this one should be the UEFA Nations League, yes. right? Yes. And the quarterfinal pairings here uh, present mouth-watering fixtures. My goodness. Uh -huh. And that's an understatement. Mm -hmm. This is a World Cup. <laughs> I mean, look, yeah. Netherlands, Netherlands, Spain, Spain. Uh -huh. Croatia, France, uh -huh. Denmark, uh -huh. Portugal, uh -huh. Italy, Italy, Germany. Germany. Mm -hmm. Germany uh, I think. It, uh, uh, against Italy, mm -hmm. I think. Uh -huh. um, Germany and Italy mm -hmm. have been on reverse gear for the last few years. Yes. But somewhere in between, Italy were able to win mm -hmm. the UEFA mm -hmm. uh, Euro mm -hmm. 2020, which was played in 2021. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then again, they slipped, mm -hmm. didn't uh, qualify yeah. to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And before that, remember, they hadn't qualified to the World Cup. So they missed out on World Cup mm -hmm. 2018 and World Cup mm -hmm. 2022. Mm -hmm. And when they missed out on 2018, it was the first time in 60 years that Italy were missing out on mm -hmm. the World Cup, mm -hmm. considering that they last missed out in the 1958 mm -hmm. World Cup, mm -hmm. which was won by Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when Pele mm -hmm. arrived on the world stage. Mm -hmm. Germany have been qualifying to the World Cup, but then dismal performances. Remember 2018, they left in the group stage, and 2022, they didn't do anything notable, really. Mm -hmm. uh, but they showed resurgence. They're coming back. These two sides, four-time World Cup winners, the best record after Brazil on the world stage. Mm -hmm. And I think they're more or less at par, mm -hmm. but I'd give Germans the head start. Mm -hmm. They're the underdogs always when they face Italy. Mm -hmm. Italy have a better record head-to-head -head than, than the Germans. But this time around, I'm feeling the Germans. I'm feeling their vibe. I'm mm -hmm. feeling them coming back. And as we go to the World Cup 2026, I think they'll go into that World Cup. Yeah. Right. And, and maybe Italy, a um, number of uh, key players that have really, you know, brought back the mojo amongst the Azuri fans. You know, uh, Retegi maybe could be one of the key people, the, the forward, who have really, you know, certainly banged goals for them. Mm -hmm. And you've got Calafiori, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. their defensive mm -hmm. midfield, mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. player. Di Marco has also and been. Di Marco yes. on the left uh -huh. flank attack. Mm -hmm. I was about to mention him. <laughs> ah, he's been absolutely brilliant. Uh -huh. So I'm not writing off the Italians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just they're rebuilding the policy. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're they're, they're rebuilding mm -hmm. fast, mm -hmm. but they do slip up at mm -hmm. times. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I feel like uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, the yes. game between. Uh, uh, is Italy and German uh -huh. will be a tough one more uh -huh. than the Spain and Netherlands. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, Spain wow. and Netherlands, yes. Uh, Hapo, uh -huh. <laughs> I think they, okay, one uh -huh. of them will move to yeah. hmm? the semi-finals. Sem the semi semifinals, yes. It we might be even the, uh, that Italy that <laughs> you, mm -hmm. you don't want to talk about because uh, yeah. they're so determined, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They've Cro missed the other World Cups. And yes, yes. They're like, we must go back. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Croatia and, and, and France, France really doing just enough to beat, yes. was it Italy away? To, for them to qualify at the top of the group? Yes. Yes. Uh, um, and you know, mm -hmm. this is going to be a two legged affair. Mm -hmm. So they've moved from the group stages, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now it's two-legged mm -hmm, affairs. Mm -hmm. So they'll play first in Italy, mm -hmm. away, the Germans, and mm -hmm. then they'll play in mm -hmm. Germany. Mm -hmm. Then there's Croatia, France. They'll play first in Croatia, and then play in France. France, France had a fantastic Euros. Not because of performance, mm -hmm. but they were just so hard to beat. Remember... It took Spain yeah. to eliminate yeah, the them only from team the Euros. They scored one goal anyway, yes. up to the semi-finals, yes. And even they've qualified mm -hmm. into these quarters mm -hmm. without Mbappe. Mm -hmm. Sure. They have Mbappe some black out boys like on that squad last three games, yes. who are so good, Kinaturam. Mm -hmm. And 
I think here France, goal, yeah, France are yeah. the favourites uh -huh. against Croatia. Uh -huh. But Croatia never die. They, you, they can concede an early exactly. goal you remember and just 20, grind, 2018 grind, yeah. grind, World grind Cup. come back. Yes. 2018 World Cup, it was France and yeah. Croatia. 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 And it was a tough game. Uh -huh. It was a tough game. Uh -huh. never seen Only such France a winning it in the... Even in the semi-final yeah. against England, they came from behind. Remember, yes. yeah. after conceding like a so third minute free so kick yeah, the here in Trippier. So the quarterfinals for the Goal Euros, uh, mm -hmm. for the UEFA Nations League is out there, is more or less like a f um, World Cup. World and then there's Netherlands. I call it, I call, I, you guys call it a World Cup, <laughs> I call it like the friendly matches for European nation teams. Because now, this is not friendly. they usually play during the international <laughs> break. No. But again, this is World Cup. This, this is World Cup. Is, it's... Um, it's world class, you know, the quality there. And also, maybe UEFA Nations League has given a platform to so many other European teams that would have never ever played these other top sides. But it's exhausted the, the Marino, players. It's exhausted you know. the players. Yeah, Injury. The Injury. Yeah. Remember, mm -hmm. England... And a number of players sat out yes, these matches. they sat yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. In, especially England. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, the and suckers. Ken was mad about mm -hmm. it. Yes, uh -huh. yes. The, the Louis... The, the, I mean... Bukayo, Bukayo Saka, yeah, and the I mean, you look at was it eight or nine players? Yeah, nine players actually. Nine sat players out. actually yeah. sat uh -huh. out, uh -huh. and it's going to bring problems for them because the squad that came in to replace them sure, that was absolutely yeah, brilliant, that young used. boys, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And you'll have to really have a very good explanation as to why you missed out. Mm -hmm. And now Thomas Tuchel, the German, is coming yeah, in, yeah. mean-faced, yeah. no joking. Yeah. His assignment yeah. is to win the World Cup yeah, in 2026. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming like he Klopp, won't take you know, their, He <laughs> won't take their sitting out. But yes, it's exhausting players. Mm -hmm. So um, Too many matches. Cole Palmer sat injuries. out. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. So, I, that was, good, yeah. that but was also, what mm. England needed, honestly, because... The, before the they had like players, everybody uh -huh. there and they were doing nothing. So uh -huh. <laughs> you see, with a new team, <laughs> at least you can see this yeah, yeah. How about the Irish? Five nil. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so there we have it. Denmark, but Portugal, we haven't discussed. Uh -huh. Denmark uh -huh. and Portugal. Uh, Portugal scraping through. Uh -huh. I'll go for Portugal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they are really playing a good game. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I feel like they, I no hating, but... Ronaldo should be <laughs> removed yes. from that squad. Mm -hmm. Ah, thanks. Yeah, I'll no head. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo, but he's setting goals and you know, so uh, targets and The problem achieving. is his team uh, singing like a superstar, you know. We have to pass it to Ronaldo to have a goal. Like they, they mostly depend it's on It's going him. on for so long. When will he exit the stage? You see, he's a marketing force. So for marketing purposes, the and millions and and that and he brings and in, and, and maybe it's hard to get rid and of And him. maybe we can yeah. talk about that here as you compare mm. Ronaldo and Messi, today's generation yes. of players, right? Yes. And maybe you go back like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, where mm. uh, like the players will be with the people, you know? Yes. But right now, even accessing, as much as on Twitter, Facebook, but accessing those players is so difficult, right? Yeah. Like they, 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 they are a product on the, um, of their own, you know? Brands. A brand, brand. yeah, yeah. brands, yeah. Wendy, it's your age, <laughs> <laughs> digital age. Yeah, why, 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 why like uh, you know, does it deny people a chance to see their idols? Uh, it does it, but you know, these players they don't want. It's like they don't want to be. They decide. They don't, or they, it's the they, people. They decide. They decide. Yeah, it's uh -huh. a decision. Because uh -huh. honestly, people do interact. Yeah, uh -huh. people Maybe. do it. There are the celebrities, not necessarily the uh, players, uh -huh. but. Let me say musicians, they do interact with their fans. So yeah. I don't know why yeah. this yeah. Kina mm. Ronaldo and <laughs> yeah. Messi. But, but, but no, we, 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 see, we see pictures of um, legends of your, like, you know, um, uh, you know, like, like Pele, you know, mm. amidst people clenching their fists, mm. you know, in the air. And sometimes they're flying from, uh, from Brazil to come to Nigeria and quell uh, a civil war. Yeah. You know, you know, such su the the influence of yes, uh, players of yesteryear's head was big, was huge. Yeah, but now, man, these ones are even. But even bigger okay, Ronaldo has, media. has some powerful. influence. Mm -hmm. They're so powerful. Mm -hmm. They're so. P I mean, here is a player who should not be on the team, but he's there. Mm -hmm. The market forces uh -huh. can't allow uh -huh. him to uh -huh. not uh -huh. be there. Uh -huh. Even if you look at uh, when this draw was made, mm -hmm. guess which players face they used to mm -hmm. advertise the quarterfinals Ronaldo. of the UEFA Nations, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. And yet he's not the best player 
on the pitch. Thank you. But he's a marketing force. He's so powerful. And it's all about money these uh -huh. days, football. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They don't mind the quality. It's, yeah, it's yeah. about the money, what he brings to the table. Uh -huh. <coughs> so, I mean, I don't yeah. think I've ever seen anything like this. Yeah. Before. So, uh, overall winners of the Nations League, I think Germany. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Germany? I, and Spain are there. Spain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Defending champions. Yes. So, who will go with it? And France are well, there. I'll go with France. Spain. I'll go with Spain. Uh -huh. with no, they have these young players. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll go with France, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I hmm. think the way the rotation... The rotation of the squad by Didier Deschamps, I think, is has been fantastic. Ah, he's brilliant. Man. Yeah, France is mm -hmm. just good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, he's, he's almost. Been, he's been brilliant with with how he's been changing this, rotating this team. They're excellent without Mbappe. You know, they it are. took Lamine Yamal yeah. to di to get France out of the Euros, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they hadn't started well. They just grew from game to game, and that's a very dangerous side. Once, I mean, in a tournament, if you're growing from game to game you're really one one force to reckon mm -hmm. with. But mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yes. Je Je Ujeru. Then, there of course, we've exhausted the quarterfinal pairings, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Now let's, talk, uh, let's go to um, staying in Europe, but now this time in England, where the news coming in, Guardiola will be in EPL for two more years. I was surprised. Because mm. people are like, no. Why are you no, surprised? Why? I was. People are like, Pep will Contract go. Contract extension? I, like Pep staying again for mm -hmm. the next two years. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, Pep, people are like, Pep is going to go, you know. S that's why he's not because managing the city that much. Be what was the reason? Anyway, I think the assignment was saying that. is for him <laughs> to build a new city mm -hmm. and leave behind mm -hmm. a city that will pick from there. Mm -hmm. Like what uh, Pep did, I mean, um, Klopp did. In fact, was more or less, uh, Anna, Anna has just like, it had so easy trans or smooth transition, I should say. Not easy, but smooth. Yes. More or less. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead of leaving a team mm -hmm. like that. Where you have to come and clear everybody. Yes. Yeah, come in with your own people. A and I think that's how Sir Alex Ferguson left Manchester United. Mm -hmm. he, d he, he left them by surprise. Mm -hmm. I, I think Pep is being given time. Mm -hmm. Not, okay, to win titles. Mm -hmm but also the added assignment mm -hmm. to build a team, to leave a team, mm -hmm. Behind. city team that will carry on from yeah. where mm -hmm. he lives. Mm -hmm. The Dokus mm -hmm. who will come in mm -hmm. and they're already there. Mm -hmm. The Phil Fordens will take mm -hmm. on a more senior mm -hmm. role. That kind of city. I don't know why they sold Cole Palmer. I would have never sold Cole Palmer. Yeah. Never, never, never in a million years. Uh, so the Kevin De Bruyne are leaving obviously with time. He's over 30 years old, uh -huh. you'd understand. And it's now time for the other generation to come on mm -hmm. on board mm -hmm. and take full control of the side. And I think that's what Pep's mm -hmm. key assignment, apart mm -hmm. from winning titles, mm -hmm. is. And even the Undo ones, they are mm -hmm. living. They are over that age yeah. whereby in football sure. you're referred to you as a senior the, citizen. The Brian already said he should be omitted from some of the matches, you know. Picking injuries. He's picking injuries. So that, that tells you that... Um, age. It's age. Like yeah. 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 It happened yeah. last season, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Injuries. His, his, Again this his, season. Yeah, yeah. Yes. His efficacy is being slowed down by the age and the injuries. Mm. But what, what do you think has been the major factor why uh, Pep has dominated English football? He's a brilliant... Four titles in a row? He's a brilliant uh -huh. tactician. Oh, Pep is just a unique... And there's he's money. Just, uh, he's just unique. Uh, 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 when you know, if you can see, like, uh, coaches like Ateta, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the current Chelsea coach... Mm -hmm. Mareska. 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 Uh -huh. They Enzo. all came from Enzo. Uh, uh -huh. Pep. So I, I think, like, Pep has some unique ideas yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, that and, other I mean, coaches doesn't have. Talking about um, ideas that Wendy is saying, um, mm -hmm. uh, we've seen... Uh, Almost all the, foot, uh, all the football coaches now borrowing his ideas or his style of coaching, right? Yes. And uh -huh. every, every team in EPL now wants a coach that has been, you and, know, and, has and been and in... Remember, yeah. and one, of the key, one of the key ideas that he came with was a goalkeeper that who can use both the hands and the legs, right? Mm. <laughs> and and the both, good both passes. Yes. Good passes. The goalkeepers were good passes. And we did si see that when it came, there a number of coaches also start bring in, I remember Ten Hag was so vocal about bringing in. And very in soon, mm -hmm. uh, every team in EPL will be a tough team, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It will be hard to, to determine who will win the league at the early stages because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, everyone mm -hmm. is playing the same 
but also Give. Pep to uh -huh. criticize him a bit. He's uh -huh. never quite coached a team that doesn't have money. money. Uh -huh. yeah. He's been with the Barcelona, <laughs> the Bayern Munich, uh -huh. and the Manchester Cities. Uh -huh. And once you have all that kind of money, uh -huh. you're halfway there. Uh -huh. The rest now is up to you. Mm -hmm. So that bit of up to him, mm -hmm. that one he does. So he's but this one of money, if mm -hmm. you remove the money and you give him a small team, mm -hmm. I don't know how well he'd do, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest. So a decade in EPL, right? Almost. Almost, right? Yes. Uh, with uh, four back-to-back -back EPL titles and one Champions League in the last five years. Because he went to the EPL 2017? Yes. About. There so about, yeah. He'll be here for two more years. 2026 is when his um, deal is ending. But again, he's gotten Manchester City from, uh, you know, but they had won the league already, right? Once. 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 Roberto Mancini. Last minute. Yes. yes. Last but now he's... Aguero iconic moment. Yeah. Aguero! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. but now <laughs> he's... Yeah. Now yeah. he's winning it yeah, 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 for yeah. fun. Yeah, I never yes. forget that moment. Mm. Remember that moment? Uh -huh. That's what we were talking about earlier, sports pages. Those last goals, <laughs> last <laughs> minute. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, it was that forever. And also heartbreaking at the same time. Yeah, heartbreaking to Manchester at that time, remember? Yes, they were already to warming. Yes, yes, Baggy yes. was running around, you know, chewing and all that. But I have no idea. I was went. still young. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Sunderland. Were they playing Sunderland at they that time? They were playing Sunderland. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. heartbreaking to Sunderland mm -hmm. as well. Heartbreaking to Sunderland. They got relegated. Anyway, it was beautiful <laughs> to see that also Man City came and snapped that domination by Manchester United. So... Everybody, yes. I think, just welcomed them. At that time, Arsenal, I think, was struggling. Wenger had just left. They don't know where to pick. Mm. Things were not really and doing well. And you can imagine, that, I think that's when I started loving Arsenal, when it was down. <laughs> For real. Oh, so that's real love. Yeah, yeah, that's the, I think the last time, the, the last time they love. won the league. Yeah, nobody mm. loves you when you're down. <laughs> mm, that's I, did, love. I did love Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> Credit to her, that's real love. It was down. Mm. Yeah, 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 so Arsenal, I can say, Arsenal I was there for nice Arsenal. Yeah? Anyway, hey ladies out there, be like when you love us when we're down. Yeah. Love us when we're down. Love them when they yeah. not, yeah. not every time when they're on top. Yeah. 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 But when, when we're down. Anyway, when you so see the potential. Yeah. yeah. And another coach, okay, Guardiola extending his deal at um Manchester uh, City for two more years. Uh, Amorim Ruben beginning his tenure this particular weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah. What what do you expect to see? We s did see how Ruth Van Nistro did sign out emphatically, you know. Like, I think he was just like telling them at the end of their final match, I think that <coughs> one, one uh, when they did win against Leicester City, 3-0, mm -hmm. and we did see him clasping hands with the fans. Maybe he was just sure that he'll be leaving, right? He wasn't going to stay because he's also... Uh, coach Mbaya kona Gina. Hangi but baki apokuwa mm -hmm. uh, technical okay, bench. Ukisikiza manule yake, he uh -huh. was like, he doesn't want to go. He wanted to stay in Manchester. Only if he's the head coach. Yeah. Only yes. if he would have been made the head coach. Because now he also he has his stature as a good coach, right? But I think he'll come back. Mm -hmm. Let him go out there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm build himself, mm -hmm, sure. learn the ropes, mm -hmm. because he's still quite new on the job, mm -hmm, sure. and then come back. Yeah. He he the potential is there. The po yeah, yeah. The, the potential is there, mm -hmm. no doubt about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the dressing room loved him. And the energy that he brings on the touch. And the fans loved yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. They always did. Connection, he's a United yeah. legend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Absolute yeah. legend. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, he's still young mm -hmm. as a coach. Mm -hmm. He'll and come back, yeah. I think, in the fullness of time. Uh -huh. And he can win them a title or two. Uh -huh. uh, but again, before you continue, yes. I want to discourage Manchester United fans. Uh -huh. You know, I'm seeing they are very happy. Amorim is coming. Uh -huh. and, you know, Amorim just All won the, the yeah. He just won. Uh, are they wrong to sport, yeah, he, Sporting he, he, versus he, Man City? Yeah. In yes. His yeah, previous yeah, team, yeah. and I want to tell you that even Ten Hag mm -hmm. did the same before he came Ten, to. I think Ten Hag <laughs> came to Manchester a little bit faded. I uh, know. No. No. Hey. no. My goodness. Was he like the Ajax Ten Hag? Yes. Oh, God, yes. man, he was. The expectations were realistically uh, high. Okay. They were uh -huh. fair to uh -huh. be high. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But as uh, Wendy says, Manchester United is a uh -huh. tough assignment. Uh, yes. I why? Why is it hard happened. to manage Manchester? Manchester United. You see the problem they've made historically. Even if you go back to mm -hmm. um, the Samad Basby era, mm -hmm. that's from the 50s to the early 70s, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm they don't usually have a succession plan. Mm -hmm. You see what we're talking about, City, that succession plan, mm -hmm. having Pep bring in a new side so that when he leaves, that side can build on mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. they've been left. Mm -hmm. Manchester United, mm -hmm. usually, mm -hmm. they dip mm 
mm -hmm. when some had bars be left, even at some point they were relegated. Mm -hmm. Then Sir Alex Ferguson came mm -hmm. and he stayed for long, like almost longer than Sir Matt Busby. Mm -hmm. But when he left, mm -hmm. there was no one now to come in mm -hmm. who had been molded mm -hmm. to take over from mm -hmm. Sir Alex. Mm -hmm. And there were no players who sure. had been left and futuristically uh, uh, yeah. to take and over the, from uh, there and uh, go on. Yeah. He and left behind mm -hmm. the Ryan Giggs. Mm -hmm. You see that old yeah. squad that was on their way Sol, out. Solskjaer. Uh -huh. Those guys. Uh -huh. So, no, not Solskjaer. Solskjaer had left. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that has been one massive problem. Mm -hmm. So, to fill those big shoes, they've brought in some fantastic coaches over the last 10 years. I think eight of them in number. Mm -hmm. And none of them has quite been able to actually feel in those shoes persuasively. Mm -hmm. uh, Jose Mourinho came close by finishing second in the league, winning them the Europa League. But still I felt that his coming in to Manchester United was a mismatch. He's more of a technical coach. United play more open, confrontational kind of football. Mm -hmm. What we were seeing from Ruud van Nisselrooy, mm -hmm. a former striker. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. And they need to be patient with Amorim. Exactly. Because they won't be down forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How patient? Ah, How patient? For like two years. Three seasons? It's been, they've been two in years. a long search as, as, as Tiras has um, elaborated, you know, mm. since they Fagi left. Yeah. Fantastic coaches. Yeah, they, Louis Van Hal. Imagine having been, Mourinho. Yeah. And you can't At that time. Him. Louis Van Hal. At that time. Louis Van Hal as well. Oh. You know, uh, Moyers, the immediate successor. So they oh. should give him time. Yeah. Mistake. That mm. was another blunder. Mm -hmm. mm. But they had belief in him, right? Moyes so, is a mid-level coach. Yeah. So Manchester Manchester United oh, and Ruben Amorim will be opening their his tenure at Old Trafford against uh, Ipswich, Ipswich tomorrow. And Ipswich also just like smiling from their... Tough team. Yeah, tough, tough team. team. They, they don't know when to give up. First match too. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. They don't know when to give up. Yeah. So let's go to some of the matches of the <laughs> week that we have this weekend. Of course, the first one after the international break, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Bournemouth against Brighton. Brighton, uh, that's at six today. Aston Villa against wow. Crystal Palace later on uh, as well at six. And later on in the night, Manchester City against uh, Tottenham at 8.30. Yeah. Forgot right. that Arsenal is playing with the Nottingham Forest. Arsenal, Arsenal is what time? Nottingham Forest. <laughs> what time? And their level on points. At six as well. 19 yeah. each. Mm -hmm. Actually, number, number, from number three to number ten, they all yeah. separate by <laughs> points, right? <laughs> Actually, uh -huh. you can go all the way down to uh -huh. number 13, 13, Manchester United. They're on 15 points. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. and, uh, uh -huh. and number three... Chelsea, yes. 19 points. Yes. So there's a like, four-point difference between mm -hmm. those two The sides. gap between number one and Ch number three mm -hmm. is much bigger Five than the gap the between number three and number, number 13. 13. Uh, Just a point. Uh, 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 it's wild. <laughs> I mean, it will be interesting to see how the top two teams will narrow the gap on number... Uh, the top three teams will narrow the gap on number one. The difference mm -hmm. between Arsenal and Nottingham Forest mm -hmm. is a one-goal yeah. difference. Yeah. Just one goal difference. Uh -huh. Even Chelsea is a two-goal difference. And early kickoff uh, today, Chelsea, Chelsea against Leicester, Leicester, right? Leicester. Chelsea 30. against Leicester. And you minutes. might want to know, mm -hmm. one of your cameramen mm -hmm. is a Chelsea supporter since mm -hmm. childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I point him out? Yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one, the behind that camera is a Chelsea supporter. So be the good Chelsea. Chelsea. Uh, yeah, no. so it makes you look good, though. He's <laughs> a Chelsea supporter. Chelsea uh -huh. beat Leicester, so. Ali Kikov. Ali Kikov, the normal. The normal. Anyway, <laughs> coach, Chelsea are favorite. My coach will go for Ali Look, he's cut me off. He's <laughs> gone to Andy. <laughs> 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 Okay, no, no. <laughs> 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 uh, no, no. Chelsea are favourites for that mm -hmm. one. Sure. And Chelsea, maybe f uh, from their last match looking good, NATO was really inspiring. Their f of course, their last match was against Arsenal, oh. the 1-1 one, one draw. And uh, NATO mm. was menacing, you know, on the flank, but he's yes. better. I think he's good on the right than on the left. Neto, though he can I cut in there. Uh, mm -hmm. I think on the right he's really, really good. Yes, on the right he's really mm -hmm. good. Really, yes. really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And that's strange because he uses his left leg mm -hmm. uh, more, a bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, he's a bunch yeah. of talent. Yeah, Sanchez has. But he, he can swing to the other side. Has he been convincing Sanchez in Chelsea goal? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but at times, he's a goalkeeper who like covers his face when you know. At they say, come on, at times, your face out there. <laughs> at times, he, there's yeah. that uh -huh. a, a bit of ish, an error here, yeah? mm -hmm. a bit of a rough diamond. Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. I like him. Even when people say, "What? Well, no, I like that goalkeeper." Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arsenal, Nottingham, uh, or they get back 
Are we going to see uh, some domination that we are used to with Arsenal? That's going to be a tough game. Uh -huh. Nottingham is the only team that has beaten Liverpool. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine mm -hmm. with Arsenal. Mm -hmm. who, uh, okay, I'll say a draw will be bad because uh -huh. it will really bad on our side because we've had like draws of, 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 yeah. of, of the leader space we need a win but with the nottingham it's it will be a tough game mm -hmm. yeah arsenal are good at home especially the fans yes they really <laughs> <turn out laughs> the team. Yeah, so now they want to build yeah. they want to renovate and their stadium to an eighty thousand capacity yeah. and so more fans yeah, yeah. more home and, fans and you know you know and when arsenal are at home they play like deeper yeah you know? they play deeper if you watch their game against uh, when they were away the last game away was um uh against inter milan you mm -hmm. know you could see like you waiting to see the arsenal that moves forward thrust forward but you could not see it but when they're playing at home really good going deeper and you know I mean, they have the urgency there's no, there's no way you can be beaten at your own house yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Set> <laughs> football, yeah. very good yeah. very Gabriel good very good very good so newcastle tomorrow i think um tomorrow manchester. have you uh done with tomorrow's matches ipswich against manchester united that's at 7 30 in the evening then southampton against liverpool also tomorrow so liverpool uh they've been costing doing so well i think um Anna Slot, what 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 must he do now keep uh, doing what he's doing mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. overstretch it mm -hmm. don't exaggerate it mm -hmm. it's naturally happening mm -hmm. Just go go slow, mm -hmm. and you're approaching a critical time of the season, mm -hmm. December. Mm -hmm. uh, so just go slow. Mm -hmm. There is no international break mm -hmm. until March. Yes. There is no Africa Cup of Nations there to disturb you. Yeah. No. no just go. Yeah. Just cruise yeah. control. Yeah. You're doing good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give Mo Salah uh, all the support. You, Mo do you Salah think is that really Salah has you. Is, is an underrated striker <coughs> among the top strikers in EPL? Ah, he's among the top he's 10 all-time scorers in I wouldn't with say 270. He's, uh -huh. hey, he's given his props. Uh -huh. he, he's but really uh, look, 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 but he's um, past his peak. Now he's playing on experience. Yeah, but look at his the ballon d'or, even the long list, he wasn't there. Even he's the short list wasn't Ooh, there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Let, let them keep those. That's where let let being them. underrated comes in. Yeah, yeah, let, let them keep some. those. He's going for the EPL title. He's focused. <laughs> he's a mature the issue of guy. The deal has not mm. been settled yet. Uh, yes. <laughs> we can't. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's uh -huh. just he's avoid it. Mm -hmm. And the Dutch guy whose name I keep forgetting. Gakpo. 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 Ah, man. Mm -hmm. Gakpo is brilliant. Mm -hmm. I'll Cody, bring him yeah. on earlier. Even if you can start with him, mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to have a player who can start mm -hmm. with a starting 11 mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make an impact mm -hmm. or come off the bench mm -hmm. and be and impactful. Mm -hmm. exactly. Gakpo took time to settle at Liverpool. But yeah, towards sure. the end of last season, mm -hmm. He got in mm -hmm. proper, and he had a beautiful Euros with Netherlands, and mm -hmm. now he's back at Liverpool. He's doing it brilliantly. The South American boys, uh, those ones are the ones I have a problem with. Those ones, those yeah. ones I have a problem with. They're but not consistent enough. Yeah. But not. one anyway, game is good, the other one is... Yeah. Uh, then, it, then it disappears. Yeah. Yeah. Then on Monday, yeah. I think it will be Newcastle, Newcastle. against West, West Ham. Newcastle also rediscovering their motion, doing so well. The coach really uh, turning to, you know, the players that were in his squad, but they were rarely used. You know, the injuries have forced him and finding the cog finally, Eddie Howe. You uh -huh. know, and they're, they're just back like from injury. Eighth, a yeah. good number of them. Mm, yeah, quite a number of them, yes. And West Ham, their mm -hmm. coach is on the cusp of getting fired. In fact, they've started looking for another coach. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> he, a loss. Mm -hmm would be double yes. jeopardy for him. Yes. And maybe just before we go, let's talk about La Liga and Mbappe. What's happening with Mbappe? Do you think mm. that uh, he's been, you know, the, you know, when you go to Madrid and with such signing, huge signing yes. of that caliber, people expect him to bang in goals. You know, one match against Leganes, you'll be like 4-0 and he scored all of them like Ronaldo used to do. But you know, when he's been on you and know, off, what's happening? Uh, for Mbappe, uh -huh. Real Madrid was like his uh, let's say from his land. Yes. So when he reached there, remember they wanted him. He never went. He also wanted to be in Real. And Florentino really wanted him. Waited and went for him again. Uh -huh. So I feel like the the way he, he arrived there, he decided, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a case of too many cooks spoil the broth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that, that's another issue. Yeah, and they that's have why too we many cooks yeah. up front, mm -hmm. and they had this similar problem with the Galacticos. Mm -hmm. Of two thousand and 
some somewhere there in mm -hmm. the 2003 mm -hmm. yeah, that time mm -hmm. when they had um, Ronaldo the Brazilian mm -hmm. they had Michael Owen mm -hmm. they had David Beckham mm -hmm. they had Luis Figo they had Zinedine Zidane mm -hmm. was Benzema there no no no, 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 no. later oh, okay. he came mm -hmm. in later mm -hmm. and Fabio Capello was their coach at the mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. before he joined the three lions mm -hmm. England national team as manager uh Real have had this problem before and with such a brilliant squad mm -hmm. the best they managed to do was win the Spanish La Liga they never won the UEFA Champions League with that Galactico squad and that's why um Ronaldo the Brazilian is listed as one of the best players to have never won the UEFA Champions League mm -hmm. yet all expectations mm -hmm. were yes, such that yes. he should win it yeah they've gone so back history repeats mm -hmm, itself mm -hmm. they've gone back to that, that era situation. yes, yes that's um, and, and maybe uh, but this should be my closing remarks anyway mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> maybe they thought that Vinicius Jr. will never get to the level that he is today. That's why they signed Bappe. Maybe, maybe. And also, maybe uh, Capello has... But when asked by the Spanish media why I think Bappe is not clicking, I talked about the problem being more defensive and not uh, strikers worry. But anyway, uh, he, that anyway. That was the, the yeah. <laughs> go find yeah, that's it's like go find the answer. So yeah. when he talks about yeah. the, uh, uh, but yeah. understandably we know that they have a lead squad, the, the the mid and the defense also they are really stretched. But so they're struggling in they're Europe. Struggling in the in Champions Europe, League. They have a lead I'll, squad, and they, they look like if Barcelona sleep, they mm -hmm. could win the La Liga. And thirty three and twenty seven points. That's the difference. But um, yeah. it's going, going, going. Yeah, because yeah, Barcelona sure. are doing well. Uh -huh. So. Anyway, that's how we so end it. They play Legane this they, weekend. This weekend. And Barcelona, they play who? Uh, Let Barca, me just check. Uh -huh. Barca not here. Yeah, Barca not here. Oh, they are, they are here. They are playing Celta, Celta Vigo, Vigo away. Today, yes. Away. At 10. Yes, yeah. today at uh, hey, East African time. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so and then, uh, of course, you've got Hetafe Valladolid. Yes. That's going to be... So six points separating... Madrid I think that was Barcelona. last night. Mm -hmm. Hetafe Valladolid. Two matches. And then anyway. you've got Valencia, mm -hmm. Real Betis and so on. Atletico Alaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your prediction, quickly before we go, uh, Nottingham against Arsenal today? Ha, huh. let me be a good... Manchester, Ipswich. A Chinas? good uh -huh. Arsenal, whatever. Uh -huh. We are going to win. Uh -huh. The worst we can have is a draw. Uh -huh. uh, that <laughs> would be you. a bounce back, coming <laughs> back from, you know that Bob Marley song, coming back, coming <laughs> from the cold. Coming, 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 coming. <laughs> Arsenal be coming from the cold. <laughs> Ipswich against uh, Amorim, how do you... I mean, it will be like... You know, yes. the biggest start ever I in I your think, memory. I think Manchester United will win. Okay. No, Manchester won't. United will win. Aston will win. They won't. Let's see how it will go <laughs> this particular weekend. I <laughs> hope that. <laughs> thank you so much, Tiras. Most welcome. Yeah. And Wendy, thank for you, thank making you. your time. Thank you. And also you for keeping us company from 1 p.m. up to now. Let's do this again next Saturday. I'm Bernardo Kumu. See Adios. You Adios.